Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. RetroPie 4.2 was released a few days ago and it supports video preview. So you don't need to use just a static image anymore. We can use a video snap so we can see the gameplay before we start the game. Not all themes support this and you will need to enable SSH and use WinSCP to follow my instructions here. I just uploaded a video on how to enable SSH and use WinSCP so if you haven't checked that out, if you don't know how to do this, go ahead and watch that video first and then come back over here. So what I've done here is I've created a 12 gigabyte pack. Now this contains no ROMs at all and it does not contain all of the artwork either. It's in torrent form and you can download it. Link is in the description for you guys. Now I have CRT theme in this pack and I also have the old room theme. We're gonna go to the readme. Now the old room theme is by Nismo, and here is the link to his thread there, so go ahead and thank him because this is a really cool theme here. The CRT theme is by this guy here. I'm not gonna try to butcher the name, but here's a link to that thread also, so go ahead and thank him if you're using the CRT theme. Both of these are in beta, so you might have bugs, but there are other themes that work with video previews. This pack contains all game lists for all systems, and this is thanks to Dave Marty. He's done the motion blue. I took all of his game lists, and they're in here. So this is exactly what we need to get these video previews up and running. This pack contains art and video for the following systems. NES, SNES, GBA, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Genesis, FBA, Neo Geo, N64, and Game Gear. It's already 12 gigabytes, so it's a big folder that you guys are going to download. I was going to add more, and I can do that in the future, but I'm running low on time. This will definitely get you up and running, though. Let's go ahead and get started here. After you download this folder, you're going to extract it. It's going to look just like this. We'll have the CRT theme. Inside of here, we have the theme itself, and it's actually named ES Theme CRT Master. We have the game lists and art. Now all of these are not full, but they have the game list and the correct folders we'll need. So videos go in the snap folders, wheels go in the wheel folders, box art goes in the box art folders. We're gonna go ahead and connect to our Raspberry Pi over network using WinSCP. Now in this video, I'm gonna be using the old room theme and I'm gonna be using the 720p version. Seems to work a little better. Let's go ahead and get started here. Just going to minimize this. We're going to open up WinSCP. Now, if you haven't followed my instructions on how to enable SSH and use WinSCP, you need to go watch that video now. I'm going to connect to RetroPie. My username is PI and my password is Raspberry. Password is Raspberry. So over on the right hand side, we are connected to our Raspberry Pi's SD card. We're gonna to go to Home, Pi, and you're gonna need Show Hidden Files Enabled. That is in my other video. We're gonna to go to Dot Emulation Station. Inside of here, we're gonna create a new directory called Themes. Right click, New Directory, and we're just gonna name it Themes. Press OK. We're gonna open up this Themes folder. So this is where our new themes are gonna go. I have my old room here. I'm going to go ahead and drop both of these in here, but for this video, I will be using the 720p theme. And just for kicks, I'm also going to add the CRT theme. So we need to open up the CRT folder and add the ES theme CRT master. You could rename this if you want, but I'm going to leave it just like this. Okay, so now we're pretty much done with WinSCP. We just needed this to transfer our themes over. Now you can use WinSCP to transfer your ROMs and stuff like that, but I'm gonna use the built-in file explorer to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and close WinSCP. I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new file explorer. At the top of the quick access bar, I'm gonna type in backslash backslash RetroPi or the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Press enter. 
I'm going to snap it to the right over here, and I'm going to open up my ROMs folder. Now we're going to go back to the folder you guys downloaded. For this tutorial, I'm just going to do SNES. So I'm going to go to Game Lists and Art, find SNES. So inside of here, we have our gameslist.xml, thanks to Dave Marty. This is going to tell RetroPie where our video is located, that is snaps, where our wheel is located, that's wheels, and where our box art is. In order for your videos and box art to show up, you need to have the same naming convention, and this is all based on Hyperspin ROM naming conventions. So if I go to Snap, as you can see, I have three ninjas kick back. I'm gonna go to my SNES ROMs folder on my Raspberry Pi's SD, and I have three ninjas kick back. So I know this is named the same as the video itself, so it's going to show up. Same with Seven Saga, 90 Minutes, 2002 Super Baseball. As long as your ROM is named the same as your video snap, it will show up. Let's go ahead and take all of this and place it in our SNES ROMs folder on our Raspberry Pi's SD card. As you can see, this is 1.9 gigabytes. So this is going to take a long time to transfer all of these over. We have 12 gigabytes of videos that you downloaded. So you're gonna need a pretty big SD card to hold everything you want. While this is transferring, I already showed you the beginning, but we're gonna go back to that README. This only contains videos and box art for NES, SNES, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Genesis, FBA, Neo Geo, N64, and Game Gear. Later on down the road, I'm gonna add more and more, but it's going to make it a lot bigger. Let's go ahead and wait for everything to transfer over. It's gonna take a while, so just sit back and relax. When this is done, we're gonna move over to the Raspberry Pi enable a theme that supports video previews and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so I have all of my videos and all of my box art transferred to my Raspberry Pi's SD card. You also need to make sure you have the gamelist.xml. This is very important. Let's go ahead and move over to the Raspberry Pi now. I'll show you how to enable one of those themes we added and how everything works. Okay, so now that we're back at the Raspberry Pi, go ahead and press start. We're gonna do a quick reboot. So we'll go to quit. Restart emulation station, yes. Now if we go here with the stock carbon theme, let's just go to Super Nintendo. All you'll see is your box art here. This is pulling from the game list and going into our box art folder. We need to enable a theme that supports video previews. Go ahead and press start. Go to UI settings. Scroll down to theme set and you can choose CRT Master if you want, Old Room 1080p, or 720. I'm just gonna go with Old Room 720p. Make sure it's highlighted, click back. Now you might not see the video immediately, go ahead and just scroll over a little bit, come back, and you'll see the video previews. We also have the box art down there. Now this is kind of slanted box art. It does look a little bit funky, but you might be able to find box art online. This is what I had laying around, so I figured I'd make a pack like this. It doesn't look too bad. But now we have video previews set up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you CRT theme now. Start, UI settings. Scroll to theme set. ES theme CRT master. Make sure it's highlighted, go to back, click A. And again, you might not see the video immediately, so we need to go over one, and then we'll go back. And there we have it. Now I'm getting a little bit of under voltage here. I think my power supply is about to die. But that's pretty much it, guys. If your video is not showing up, you need to make sure the ROM name matches the video and the box art. So I really like the CRT theme. That's why I added it in here. It's very minimal and it looks really good. So if you go ahead and add all of those packs that I created and uploaded, then you should have tons of videos and tons of box art to mess around with. I really appreciate you watching. Now, one other thing you can do is actually 
Download a pre-made image, which I do not condone, that already contains all of the box art. Rip the box art from that and place it into your own build. So that's a really good option that you have also. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll try my hardest to get back to you. And I hope this helped you out. Like always, thanks for watching.